What is up everyone, Volith is here, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. So, I've been doing a lot of things on my own, as you can see. Um, might have slightly an overpopulation problem in here, um, but basically i built all these. These are all the slimes I have except for the puddle slimes, which are outside. And I've been making money in this game. Um, once again, while I was on my own, I ran into one of the new rare slimes, which I can actually figure it out. I can show you guys that I ran into it. Um, so there's that that I've ran into that, the gold slime. But I ran into the lucky slime, which gives you money. And right here, it just says it takes meat. So if you, um, if you happen to run into them or you're adventuring on your own, I recommend carrying some kind of meat, which in this game pretty much just means carry a chicken. Um, and you get money out of it if you shoot it at them. Um, and they are known that basically you just have to look for... Why isn't this feeding them? Um, you basically just have to... Well, not look for You listen for them. Because what they do is they drop... Um, they sound like jiggling coins. And then when you feed them, they give you coins. So, just like the gold slime gives you gold. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do real quick, because last time we didn't do the new stuff. Um, as you can see here too, I also have a lot of gardens. I've also been doing research about what uh, makes the slimes, basically, what is their favorite food, because I found out that that actually does matter. And I'm working on basically producing just those favorite foods for them. And just like that, more money. Um, I've also been upgrading. I have the jetpack. Actually, I think I have almost all my... Yeah, I have all my upgrades. Oh, there's a flash in this game. I don't... Maybe you need it. Um, let's see if we have any good messages. Item is... No. Okay, so these were just basically talking about upgrades that are available. Okay. So, um, I've also learned a little bit more with the chickens here found out that you can only keep 12 otherwise they will not produce any chickens or hens or sorry they won't produce any eggs so real quick there's the next expansion which should be just yeah it's a garden area basically some free fruit in here some hens so I wonder if the, it'll continue to produce fruit so We'll pick this stuff up here. Um, so yeah, I've been playing the game on my own, having fun with it. Apparently these teleporters don't work yet. Um, as for plans, oh yeah, so this just produces all kinds of stuff. Kind of like the idea. I wonder though if I take all the hen hens out of here if they're gone. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Hear more. There it is. Just gonna grab them out because I found it with the boom slimes, which I'm doing right now. They like the briar heads. So, like I said, I'm basically just trying to only keep what all the slimes want. That's all I'm really doing. So. They keep spawning. They're like falling out of the sky. That's interesting. So, I guess it's good to know. Um, I would definitely suggest then if you're doing this on your own, you might want to start with the overgrown. Is it overgrown? Let's see here. The overgrown. Especially if you need those resources, because. Technically, I don't really need these. Um, those are just a bonus. And then I just have my puddle, which I also found out they're shy, and they don't really produce plorts if there's other slimes. I thought I left two in there, but I guess not. So real quick, I'm going to go feed these guys, and we will check out the new slimes. Um, which probably means one of these pens are going to go away. Well, the pin won't go away. It'll just be empty. 
which also proves that I'm a terrible slime rancher owner. Boom slums are hungry. And then this one I'm feeding them carrots, but they like heartbeats. Um, so, so if you need any information, I highly recommend using the song period. It's a good resource. It tells you their favorite foods and everything. Um, and then those guys like the mango mint, so that's what a lot of my farms are. But let's go check out the raids. I think the radioactive slimes. So in to this quarry. Okay, so we're starting with angry slimes. Ow! It's hurting me. So we're in the quarry now. It requires a slime key to open. Shoot. Get away. Get the hell away. Don't. Ow! I'm stuck! You gotta be kidding me. Can I feed you chickadoos? Nope. <laughs> Eat plorts. Ah! Oh, there's more of them at night. So I guess my new goal is to feed the tabby till it explodes and gives me a key. Okay, so I went around and I collected some more. So let's see if we can get have a cat to explode okay so he's full and if you didn't notice already they made a separate son of a bitch go back okay so they also made a separate um that's the word I'm looking for. They made a separate section for water. So hopefully this has a key. It does not. So I'm out of... Why do I get an extra slime key? Is there only one slime key? Once you're up, you're up. You get back in there. I've sold some of that. I'm gonna take one second to figure out hopefully how to get another slime key. Otherwise, I can't go into the plateau. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go see if we can find the phosphorus slime. I did some research, but apparently the big ones are called like Garotas, and they're in various areas. Let's see here. Just gotta find them. Um, apparently, this is called the Dry Reef, and it does contain three of the seven Gordos. So, I just have to figure out where that is. Okay, so according to this, it should be through the tunnel. Uh, oh, what do we have here? Get away. Oh, shoot, no, I ran out of jet pack. This is bad, real bad. So this is a new section I didn't even know about, which I kind of figured needing a jet pack would help. put me here. So I probably missed something. Oh, what do we have here? I found you! Okay. So, now I found him, but it's just to feed him. And not enough. 
Well, now that I know where he's at, that's, I can feed him. So definitely a piece of advice. Just be on the lookout for stuff. Run, 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 run. Also, back here I'm going to build another coop. Because right now I have plenty of fruit production areas, but I don't really have enough of others. And at this point, I honestly, <laughs> making money is pretty easy. But that's because I've spent a lot of time on my own doing this. So real quick. And bye. There you go. So now we have more production in that. And I need to see if I have more fruit. I don't have any fruit. This is bad. Oh, I spoke too soon. Submit mangoes. Here's what I'm going to do too. Move. Boop. Boop. And I'm going to change this. This will be fruit. Or mango. Boop. Okay, so I don't have much fruit to work with. And these are all cleared out. And I always try to make sure I have at least one on here, but I do not produce enough. Yeah, I have a lot of angry slabs. It doesn't help that I'm. Doesn't help that a lot of this is because I'm supposed to get the philosopher some fruit. So we're gonna sell some plorts. I'm gonna go feed the guy again. Hopefully, we can get a key. Oh. So you don't even need a jetpack to get down here. That's good. Come on. Okay. So. Slime key. So now we can go unlock our next area. Or use the slime key. So now we're in the new area. Right off the bat, some money. Okay, just philosophers. And there's nothing that way. Doo -doo -doo. Of course, nothing's complete without the menacing amount of tars. Looks like the very second I go in, I'm gonna be in it. Is there any, you're an old. Rusto, stony hand, stony hand, just looking around, let's go deep, ow, you bastard. So we found you and you'll probably take vegetables, so there's vegetables out there. Okay, so we can go this way. Oh, here's the radioactive ones. First, chickens. So we'll see what happens. Do you guys hurt? Oh, they have radiation. Got it. Makes slowly makes you sick. So it's not an immediate. I'm gonna get probably about ten of these guys if I can. Ow. Bastards. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I got about 10. I'll be a decent start. And then I'll f have to fuse them with something. But the question is what? More puddle slimes. Which, honestly, I'd grab more, but. Hmm. Now they're. Do I have to jump it? Or how do I get out of here? <laughs> Oh boy. Well, about to find out. Just so that. And that is a lot of radioactive slimes. Oh, 
Oh god. Radioactive booms. This is insane. How do I get out of this place? I'm gonna go this way. Uh -huh. So this put me back to where I already was. Okay. Also, let's figure out what they like. Radioactive slimes. Is Oka Oka. I'm not run into an Oka Oka. But they like veggies. So. Got it. So they're vegetables. Oh jeez, they're so happy in there. Eat that. Um, do you guys have anything to eat? So have this. And now we get to overcrowd some more. And you go. And you go. And you go. Said, and you. I have so many slimes, I can't even fit them all. This is gonna be a long process. Hey! Come here. Get back in there. Oh shoot, I popped the net. Oh, I think my frames want me dead. So we're gonna. Hmm. Shoot. Might be better just to throw them outside. Um, out you go. Oh my goodness, why not? So I didn't even think about this. What I can do since the raids, the ra the raids. No, no sounds right the re the raid slimes take vegetables I will just swap them out for the rock slimes since they're more profitable the question is do I want to make them uh, boom or honey I think I want to make them boom just because I want to be it's a little bit the, the fire can be sometimes more profitable than honey, and I get a lot of honey ports, so I'm probably going to swap that up, which is kind of bad because I already got rid of some of these guys, but I really need to cut back. For one, I feel like I'm losing frames doing this, and two, when well, they're overcrowded, they just don't do as well. You get the angry slimes. Um, so my new goal for all this really is that I'm just going to have probably ten in each pen, I mean, I'm at the point where I can buy whatever I want, and I'm earning so many ports I can't spend them, so... I think it's more manageable that way, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. Which means my plan is to use a different vegetable. Has been changed, because I was gonna grow heartbeats. But that's not the favorite for the raid. I don't know if there's an advantage for feeding them their favorite. But I feel like if I'm going to keep them happy, I feel like they'll be easier happy. And all my pens are upgraded to the max, or we should be. I'm going to check too. Oh, I just threw in a solar shield that I don't need. So that's just a representation of how well I've been doing this game. Although I've probably put in a lot, a few more, a lot more hours than what I've recorded for sure. So let's just get these last two out. I mean, technically even the phosphorus slime isn't really worth that much, but they're usually the calmer and it makes sense because they're in the grotto here. So that should be everything. No, oh, that's right. Uh, we'll get them out. And then we'll throw the carrot in. Throw these guys in. And I'm going to pick these up. And they're going to start eating. 
Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm gonna hate collecting for these guys. We're gonna do this. There's ten in there. I shouldn't pick up any extras I accidentally throw in there. So, quick pork collection. Um, and that's pretty much going to wrap up for this episode. Uh, just because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what to do next. And I know a little bit more about this game. Um, oops, I'm dropping stuff left and right. So probably what I'll be doing on my own. Fortunately, I believe that's it for slime types until they add more. The other slimes are just really luck based. Oh, and don't fall on that. So probably what I'll just do play around on my own, reduce size, and then probably just show off the quarry more because it looks like it's a big area. Um, so of course if you enjoyed this video please like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, more videos to come, and as always it's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!